Artist Ray Winterna makes things that work. Just start off with a whole lot of small drawings. Mm -hmm. You know, just processing ideas and, you know, the thing of the invisible and nanoparticles and stuff. Art me trampoline. Mm -hmm. More trampoline. And the harrow. But it's quite good working small. I think that's about it. Yeah, it is. It's almost like the colours of Tata, isn't it? Mm. Beautiful earthy colours. That lovely yellow orchid colour. Mm. Busting to use it. <laughs> For many years, Turner collaborated with the musician Split Ends, creating synesthetic experiences for their live performances. Turner also distills perfumes for her artworks. The perfume was made with the intention of saying, remember, everything was beautiful. Oh, yes. Before we changed into, into people whose values were caught up more in the value of money. Mm -hmm. and value of um, profit. Right. I um, experienced this perfume at the end of the... Um, sorry, in, um, the, in Osmotec, the perfume museum in Versailles. I asked them to show me perfumes made um, during times of trauma and war, mm -hmm. and they brought out this one perfume which was called Forbidden Fruit. Um, it's got a French name, and um, by Henry Almeris, and it was so beautiful. It was made at the end of the First World War. So, and is that not unusual that in times of war you'll get different perfumes? Or different well, musics, different pe art? Well, people are under stress and trauma, so mm. what they make will be changed. And well, To this, calm people down? Well, I don't know, but it was so well, beautiful that it yeah. sent him bankrupt. Oh, okay. Because um, it was too beautiful, because people mm. were in too much grief and they couldn't right. buy it. They couldn't, it, it, they couldn't it, it, allow themselves to feel the beauty of that. This is the sensor. And what does that it's, do? It's... Um, it's a bridge sensor and this had moss on it and then you stroke the moss and it plays sound, oh, wow. arpeggios, so you can stroke it. And you'd source the moss a, specifically, like, you know, maybe from contaminated ground? Or, or no, no, yeah. I grew it from, um, I, I collected it off a friend's, of Chris's shed and um, off the top of his shed and around his his um, pipes and mm. um, his water pipes and and then I grew it over about six months and then I fashioned it all and then it was too big and so then I had to rip the whole thing apart and make a very small one because this wheatstone bridge will only take so much weight and and had we made it with a larger bridge but then by then it was too late and we had to we had to make a small version mm. but um, the the piece of moss that I had was about this big, so you could, you know, really stroke it. But what we ended up with was a small piece, which still worked well. Mm. But um, the Wheatstone Bridge Sensor, see under here, 
Brian does the electronics, Brian. but I understand what he's doing. It's your husband, yeah. Brian Harris. Yeah, Brian Harris. Yeah. Who I met in the early 80s when he had a crane that yes. stored at Alternative Cinema, like a crane for use on motion, feature motion pictures. Well, he's mm. a, an absolute whiz with right. knowledge about is it engineering and or and engineering mechanics, and material science electrical. and and um, electronics and microprocessors right. and sensors and but he his special thing gift is that he makes things that really work. Yes. And so um, one of the things that we um, try and do in, in the works that we make is is that they actually have to work a um, genuine. Yes. Yeah, yes. rather than um, working in a um, spurious sort of way. But this must, you must face a problem mm. which is not really much talked about but must be central to installation art and that you put it together, it's three-dimensional, you exhibit it, difficult to sell, so what do you do with them when you finish with them? Do you have to store them oh, or...? I, yeah, well... Um, we talk, we've been talking with a few friends who do the same thing, mm. and what they do is they make um, miniature multiples yes. for the public to buy. Right. Um, but see, something like this, we didn't, we couldn't make miniature multiples of it. Mm. So, um, so we we the moss is outside and it, it's um, it it gets watered, yes, and looked after, and it uh, was. Something like this one, which was the flowers, which is, you know, that these works use um, are using nature and flower, live flowers and live mm. moss. That's pretty hard to keep. Mm. But um, so um, I made a video of it, and um, yes. so so it survives as a video work, yes. a print work, and this installation, which is yeah, live. What, what's this here? That's what's a sensor. So you put perfume in there, or no? That that picks up the perfume of the flowers as they okay. turn around okay. over it. Or oh, is that what you and used so in the film? That yeah, that, that, that beautiful film. The What's it called? I forget now. Fallible. Fallible, yes. Yeah. So right. so it sucks. There's, there's a fan in mm. the bottom there, and it's it sucks the air, draws the air in, yes. and the molecules go past the sensor, which is just in there. Yes. And they affect the um, voltage. Yes. And um, and then so then that the amount that it affects the voltage change then goes into the microprocessor. That's so interesting, isn't it? I mean, when you think about technology yeah, like are. power and electricity and mechanics and there, yeah. and you've got and yet it's being manipulated or controlled by nature. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, and that's the reverse, isn't it? Because the tendency in our society is to dominate nature yeah. at all yeah. cost for maximum profit. And here you've, you've reversed the equation. Is well, that that's what I feel like, um, that the natural perfume, um, you know, using naturals to, to make these smell experiences. Yes. That's what I feel like that, that that is doing as well. So there's one thing is sensing nature, you know, using electronics, which is the reverse. Or, and also this is modelled on the idea of the electronic nose. Yes. But of course we're much better at sensing nature, but when it comes to sensing nature, we, we have lost a lot of our ability yes. and our focus on it. So um, the smell experiences are kind of like experiences for the eyes, you know, mm. with, mm. with um, using, using um, materials from nature. Olfactory, would that be a correct Yeah, word? olfactory, yeah. Like that's factory. a nice, yeah, play on, <laughs> play on, yeah. Yeah, like factory Thank you.
I asked Raywin's husband, Ryan Harris, about the nature of their artistic collaborations. Is your approach empirical, you know, with electricity, science almost, is it scientific? Well, it is, well I, I like to work by setting up a, a sort of working prototype and see how it works and then go from there. But I, but I try and base my working prototype on theory that I have picked up. Right. So, but really, I'm, I'm, I'm really I'm empirical. But like the thing I'm doing at the moment, which you could solve theoretically, I've been trying, but it's still easier to actually make the thing and um, poke it and wave it around and see what it does. Well, Ray wanted to say something about working with rocks to try and oh, yeah. get... I mean, that sounds interesting. Well, we heard that there was this... Um, um, in Christchurch, there was a... During the earthquakes, there was a very strong electromagnetic field set up by, and they didn't know why, and so we thought, well, I thought, I know that you can squeeze quartz and it generates electricity that's mm. used in mm. lots of, in lots of electronic things. So, so we got a rock and put, it, put, put two bits of aluminium foil, a bit of aluminium foil on each side of it, and, and some plastic to insulate it and put it in the device and squeeze it and measure it, and there were thousands of volt generated, so... So um, yeah. Yeah. we could do something like that, but yeah. how to make it into a functional piece of uh, work and also to give it some sort of metaphorical <laughs> relevance. Is, mm. Yeah. Mm. So how does, how does I'll get both of you? How does collaboration work? How do you how do you work together? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. What, what happens? I know exactly is someone what right and someone wrong? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, it's not right and wrong. What it is is Raymond comes up with a harebrained scheme mm -hmm. and I go through, I, I go like a, like a flipping book of cartoon, I go, I go brrr, oh yeah, could try this, could try that, you know, and then we do it, quickly try and do a test to see if the idea works, or if it's got any merit, and then we go from yeah. there. But it's got to, um, it's got to come with, um, uh, it, 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 the idea comes out of, of um, like social sort of, you know, like observation or, or um, social concerns or, mm -hmm. yeah. So you have like, you're encompassing like a wide field then from the sensory to the social. And, and, is, is there anything yeah. that, I mean, is there a crossover? We'd have to talk yeah. think about specifics. Yeah, we'd have to, like what have we, what have we done that has a social um, relevance? It's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> it's really... Okay, we did do one. We made this thing, which was a long piece of tube, aluminium tube, and, and it was suspended. It was cunningly suspended so that it balanced and moved. And what what it did, it was supposed to describe the a line on a graph which was a New Zealand economist come up with this theory and called the what? Some theory anyway. Um, a relationship the relationship between inflation and unemployment there was a relationship. Okay. Phillips, the Phillips, Phillips curve and then there yeah. was the augmented Phillips curve. And so, so we thought we'd set up a illustration of that by so we had all these tins, tin cans with the labels on them, mounted on this beam and this various arranged along it. And they had um, lids that opened when you lifted a spoon, and you were supposed to go in and have a sniff. And it contained the um, what was it? it was, there was a poem somebody read around oh, wrote yeah. about David the Merit food of the food the of poor, the, the unemployed, and the, and the um, dispossessed. Yes. Yeah. So anyway, you, you you got the smell of baked beans, and the thing went dipped a bit but further, <laughs> and you went up the other end, and it sort of went the other way. And but it doesn't come out of isolation because I had. I had made that work um, up at Tafranui, um in a field, and um, and I had um, dug. Um, 
how many holes, about 20 days, was um, translating um, Lenin's song, Imagine, okay. into Goethe's psychological colour combinations. Imagine as no heaven It is if you try No hell be lost And the mass on the sky Imagine all that it Leaving for the day you I'm about to start doing some making a perfume um, with, which I've been trying to make for about two years. So, and it's the perfume to help us to stop feeling numb. Mm. And so this is the bottle, but this only got ma um, made in the in the process of, you know, trying to figure out what sort of what to contain it in. So they're just two test tubes fused together, but it doesn't come out of um, isolation. It comes from another bottle that I made. Which I have to get up on a box and get back. Um, and yeah, Brian can reach it. He's here now. What's that? <laughs> One of these boxes? Yeah. I have to stand on a, a box to no. kiss Brian. Oh. <laughs> 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 That's an old Hollywood story, isn't it? <laughs> Brian um, was, we had terrible trouble trying to, trying to um, you know, get the stoppers, but he made, and he ran off to his workshop and made these stoppers, and this is, <laughs> this one's called Snatch, this perfume, and it was for an exhibition in London, in, in uh, um, Alana's um, reverend, sisters a reverend, of, a reverend woman sisters of perpetual so. resistance. Oh, wow. Let's have a look. But the um, stoppers weren't. Oh, yeah, we had to we had to make that. these tapered stoppers with glass by putting them on a machine in the workshop, and which can run a computer generated path, and um, it made the tape. I don't want to touch it. Though. But um, th this did have um, a laser. I think the battery's oh, yeah, probably gone. Yeah. A laser. That's right, a laser inside you here. You press so the button and the laser shot through. This has got red laser colloidal shot silver through it, so it, it, the laser would go straight through in a visible in a straight line through the middle of the bottle if you, when you it's press this. Deeply cute. Yes, <laughs> 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 it was really good. Does and it was exhibited <laughs> in London. Surprisingly cute. <laughs> Thank and you. It had <laughs> <laughs> now I've got a question for the That's both of you. Funny. I've got to look at both of your eyes while I ask you this. Now would you term yourselves as obsessives? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we yes. like health in a healthy way or Oh yeah, can we just yeah, like yeah. follow yeah. your own little um, yeah. sessions around yeah. the place? Yeah. Well we just get we, we get um interested in in things. Yeah. yeah. So you follow them through to their sort of logical and passionate conclusion. Oh, no conclusion. Okay. <laughs> Just give it a pass. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, it's sort of you know, to be motivated and work together. Yeah. yeah. I wake up and have tons of ideas and everyone's yes. like, mm. <laughs> like, come on, guys. <laughs> that was our first um, collaboration there. See the circuit? Oh, yeah. that thing That's how all we all got all together. Yeah. Oh, really? Diana. Oh, this, See this one? one here. So Di no, Diana drew this up. Oh. Diana. And Diana Burgoyne, a Canadian Burgoyne, artist. Yeah, she drew it up. And um, she said, make this to me. And, and um, you know, the diagram is, is quite different to the circuit. You know that, eh, from, from doing 
you know, like a, an electronics diagram is actually different to what the circuit looks yes, like. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. And um, and I said um, to Brian, could we make this? And it was a it was the diagram. But can we make it like the diagram? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you know the association? The yeah. association that it creates for me is like Navajo sand painting. Yes. Yeah. Do you think so? Yeah, so... Mm. Or so, navigation on the Pacific Islands or something. Yeah. They wouldn't have... You, I couldn't imagine a square, or a tapa is rectangular, isn't it? But, you know, you think of the Pacific, I don't think of it as a square, more... It's yeah. an oval. Yeah, I don't, well, yeah, but, but I think they have... I think there's just this so the the way that woven them together, they were based on the square thing. Mm. That would probably work if I put a background on it. What's yeah. that? There's a sensor that's there a speaker, for that's the speaker. speaker. And that's a light sensor yeah. there. I actually did something off the little tiddly little things. Yeah. Yeah. And when you, um, and then I stuck all these when the light changes, the, the squawking sound changes from awful to more so, awful. I got over that and there was I a, I, I helped Raven set up this exhibition, um, but she and Diana, I thought, did, and mm -hmm. we went to this gallery in Wellington that was like the sort of national, not the National Portrait Gallery, gallery um, but it was an extremely um, well-upholstered sort of yeah. Yeah. gallery where people Dad, did real paintings. Sure yeah. and I know, we yeah. took this thing, yeah. it's out of the waterfront, yeah. we, so we took these things yeah, down there were a whole lot of stands where they had a glass, a glass, a small yeah. drinking glass, a tape of size, and they had a, it had a speaker in it, and a sensor on it, and they're all wired up. And on the wall next to them was a screen, and a projector projected different types of greenness on the screen, and they all squawked in the most outrageously. In this in very respectable, yes. sort of academic yeah. almost. Yeah. <coughs> and, there the, uh, and it was due to this um, curator, mm -hmm. this very, very um, uh, alternative creator, cu curator, curator, who wanted it there, yeah, Justin, yeah, yeah, Justin Jade Morgan. Oh, okay. But we sort of went back a few yeah, days later and they turned the, the sound off. So, you know, so, oh. so we got the true... Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're in it. Because you didn't see them from the time, don't really. No. And that's it, isn't it? It's that yeah. time that you miss. Yeah, yeah. That goes by. Mm. Yeah. Or, some, or just think of it, start thinking of it in, in that way that what, what the time, what the time that you spend